All right, guys, Mary and the Barbarian coming at you with the tribute shave to the father in law. Had a crazy day, so I'm going to kind of get the specs of everything I'm using out of the way. All right, believe this is a track two. Let's see if y'all can see this. It says Old Spice. It is not doing very well. But all right, guys, cartridge razor, track two. New old stock blade. This actually had a plastic cover on it. I took it off last night and I can't find what I did with it. I was going to leave it on to show you. So we'll see how awful this is, guys. Um, the only reason I have this is because it came with this. We've got Old Spice mug. It was either late 80s, early 90s when this one came out. It's black, not the blue one that you normally see. And the brush. Gonna tell you now guys, I'm just gonna push through with this. Lost a ton of hair. It's gonna probably look like it was a hand tied knot sold to Chris Maiden or something. Um, or that Naked Armor set CDB tried out. Um, it stinks horribly though. I did everything I could. All right, we'll look at it here. See, it's just simple. You can see like where it came out of the mold. Nothing really special or pretty about it, but this thing, oh, CDB go, ooh, no, that's not for me. But anyways, it's, oh, it, it smells like mothballs and like the nastiest, wettest animal you've ever smelled, like tenfold. It's just, oof, it is bad. Like, I'm telling you now, it still stinks. I did everything I normally do to clean a new brush, and then I poured Old Spice like, no shit, guys. Poured Old Spice directly on this brush. Just let it dry. Still stinks. Soaked it in the water. Poured some Old Spice in the water. Still stinks. We're going to see how this goes. Not using a mister today because father-in-law wouldn't use a damn mister. I'm just going to start listing off the products in order I'm going to be using today. Cold Spices. Cold Spices Star Jelly. And I will try to remember to put links for all this down there. Cold Spices Aftershave and Cologne. My wife likes Old Spice, so I really did it up. I got the EDP. Now, all this is menthol. Sorry if y'all hear my son kind of making noises. I do have the monitor in here. Wife's not home yet. Um, everything has menthol in it, except for the EDP. It's a synthetic menthol. And Schulten formula, it does cause irritation for me, especially in the aftershave. This stuff smells almost dead on. I think the reason it may not be is because there's menthol in it. Um, but maybe that's why it doesn't irritate my skin as much, because menthol is the counter irritant. And that means it takes my mind off. I'm going to be a little quieter, because they started rustling around when I got loud. But, uh... Lost my train of thought. The menthol distracts you from the irritation or other pain you have going on. So, I do have this Old Spice. Yes, I'm just showing because I have way too much. I have this Old Spice. And if I would have been thinking about this shave in advance, I think you can get these Track 2 Blades Persona brand on Amazon. Um, only reason I know that's because I used to watch Ken Surf heavily, and he'd talk about it. Um, this is probably the aftershave. I'm just going to splash a little behind the eel ears to make it smell just a little bit more like the Schulten formula. All right, guys. I'm going to wet the face. Oh, I shouldn't have wet the face yet because this I'm going to show. If this turns out to be crap and I just can't handle it, I'm going to the Christopher Bradley with the B plate. And I am using these cloud blades I just got in today. I mean, I'm kind of hoping I get to go to this. And, dude, it's Bruce Lee. Bruce fucking Lee, dude. It's awesome. I mean, it's like the only reason I bought them. They may do shit blades. But anyways, Bruce Lee. Oh. I will link this. They are sold out of the three-inch Gladius handle for the Christopher Bradley. But the... They have the three and a half inch. It is different. I like it. Um, no offense to Carve, but they have a fulfillment time that takes a little while. And I kind of wanted it early and I went to West Coast Shaving. And I found this one and it was in the three inch because I felt the three and a half was just too heavy. And I got it. 
like the way it looks and handle links perfect. So anyways, wet the face again. Now we'll get to it. Oh man, I am not looking forward to this brush. Shake some water out. All right, that's probably a little too much, but we're gonna go with it. Set that in the cap, because it does not stand up well, like the bottom's not flat at all. So we're gonna load this in. Little excess. Haven't used this one in a while. CK6 formula, if anybody was wondering. I don't know if it's offered in the uh, original Kokum butter formula. Sometimes I get the Kokum, sometimes I get the CK6. It just really depends on what I can afford at the time or how many soaps I'm trying to buy at the time or bundles I buy. Add a little bit of water to it because my face felt dry. All right, rinse the hands. Wipe. All right, so. See how this whoo, smells so bad. I don't know you guys. Y'all didn't notice Jeff Lynn's the yellow. Tell you what, that menthol is nice in this. I'll paint it on. All right, dip the tips. Tips again. I must have gotten all those 30 loose hairs out or broken hairs, whatever. And I cleaned it out because it doesn't look like anything's coming out right now. We'll see when we splay it, right? All right, we're good. So, guys, Monday is my day off. It's the day where I have the kids from the moment they wake up till they go to sleep and my wife gets home later. Even after they go to bed, she tries to fit like 15 hours in because she's working like three days a week and the kids have been home. They go back to daycare tomorrow, but she's not going back to regular hours until next week. We're just going to see how things pan out. So anyways, I'm going to tell you all about my day. Probably not going to talk about my father-in-law as much because, God, man, crazy day. So what I did today... Got up this morning. Well, my daughter woke up. She goes, Daddy, Daddy, I want to cuddle. So she comes and climbs in bed with me. Mrs. Barbarian's already gone for work for the day. And uh, we're in there, and she's talking to me, and she just wants to cuddle. And then I hear my son wake up in the crib on the monitor, and I go in there to get him. And he has shit from his armpits to his knees. He had a blowout big time. So that's how my day started. Get them cleaned up. Get everybody fed. I need to send some packages off today. Got everything ready to go. All I need to do is, you know, just go into the UPS store and send it. I normally would go post office, but I was going international today. And the other one I just sent UPS because I was there as well. So I get there and I get everything. And evidently, when I get to work, I put my keys on my bag and I hit the lock button and then I close the door. Well, evidently the keys fell out of my hand or pocket or whatever and were sitting in my driver's seat and I clicked it and I locked my kids in the car. I mean, my car was freezing cold, just was going to go in there and drop off and come back in. And yeah, before I even got there, I was like, oh shit, where's my keys? Daughter couldn't unclasp her seat to open the door. They were locked in for 15 minutes. I mean, I called the place. They moved us to the top of the list. They were there in seven minutes. Needless to say, I took the kids in with me to the UPS store after that. Um, so we do that. Traumatized my daughter. Probably going to sit here forever and make this lather for no damn reason. But anyways. Traumatized my daughter. So I'm like, okay, we'll do burgers and milkshakes for lunch. She's like, yes. All excited, doesn't care if she was locked in anymore. And so we get home, then she gives me a hard time because I forgot to order her tots. I'm like, crap, just can't do anything right today. 
So, take kids up for nap. Think I'm gonna get to this video. Doesn't happen. Daughter didn't nap. Son did. 20 minutes into daughter laying in bed, I, I hear her scream. I go upstairs and I'm like, what's wrong? Yeah, Gus, what's wrong? Yeah, that's actually not bad. Never used one of these. Um, I thought it was gonna be really pull and tuggy. Cause it's new old stock, long handled weird. Hear my son? So, anyways, she crapped the bed when I got upstairs. Didn't take her nap, didn't get to do video. So, get her cleaned up, clean everything up, get her back down for a nap. She doesn't take her nap, she just stayed in bed. Ended up waking her son up. Oh, I think I found a. somewhere in there where I'd lost the hair. Anyways, she uh, woke her son up and everything, so she wanted me to carry her and him down the stairs. We had some stuff at the bottom of the stairs, had to go in storage. Didn't see it. Both kids, you know, holding them up in the arms and stuff. Can't see anything, really. And I accidentally stepped on this like little round roll thing that was going in there that was kids toys they don't use anymore they've outgrown thing if I opened up down there it's a little tuggy down here and anyway flipped on that and my head went into the wall bloodied up my knee but the kids are fine I guess that's all that matters and since my daughter had leftover shake and burger, she ate that for dinner. Well, needless to say, when I pulled everything out and gave it to her and she goes, you forget my tots? And I'm like, yeah, daddy forgot your tots today. And she goes, why? And I'm like, I'm sorry, sweetie. <laughs> I'll remember next time. I said, instead of screaming chocolate milk the entire, or chocolate shake the entire time, daddy would never forget your chocolate shake. Maybe you should remind him about the tots. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, eh, wasn't bad. It's not like I'm gonna go out and buy a bunch of these persona refills though. So anyways, it's quite cool from the menthol in this. So, it's actually quite nice. You only smell it when you bring it to your face. God, that's rough, guys. You know what? I haven't lost any hair since then. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. So... I told my story. So, how's everybody doing today? I did Nick. True test will be is when I'm like ripped up with finger on hairs the next couple of days. Yeah, but I was hoping I'd get a chance to film this video. And then actually like try to work on some production stuff and editing so my videos weren't so long and fix some stuff but that didn't happen so man long handle really weird but I will tell you the way it is it really just, it makes this kind of want to fall into your face. Y'all let me know how odd this technique looks on video. I'm not doing any editing and I've had a rough day, guys.
Yeah, that did. That let me up there. I'm going to do a third pass today. And I'm not going to do it with this because it's Bruce Lee time. Bruce Lee! What? I'm ready, man. I used to love Bruce Lee movies. Who didn't, though, right? Although, I mean, when I was a kid, Dad used to take me into Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme. So, even when I was a kid, one of the funniest things I ever heard, and I say kid, it was probably early teens, and uh, I was watching, I can't remember what Steven Seagal movie it was, and the guy came at him and he rolled up a cue ball in a dish towel. The guy came at him and he smacked him right in the mouth with it. He goes, you knocked my fucking teeth out. Like, well, what do you think was going to happen when you're coming at a guy who's got a cue ball in his freaking hand towel? So anyways, last pass. We're going to pull out the Christopher Bradley. So I want to use this Bruce Lee. We'll see how it is. All right. That is against the grain for me right there. And then it's against the grain coming down right here. I just get it all over me. Yeah. And I did show guys and I'm all dressed up, but I told y'all about my day. I smelt like poo all day, man. I mean, I did everything. I don't think I had any on me, but shower came as soon as I knew they fell asleep. That was the biggest thing for me. Sorry, I know I got quiet. I'm just trying to see how I actually like this blade. I really grow right up into the corner, guys. There we go. So, that's pretty nice. Nice and cooling. Now, Unless Douglas tells you it's like Frostbite or Epic Peppermint or something like that. Most of his mentholated products are not heavily mentholated because, don't quote me on this, but from what I understand, menthol starts affecting the lather. That's why he does the chill mill so you can add as much menthol as you want because he really doesn't want to do it and affect, affect the lather ability. Man, that's still slick. Of the soap, which makes perfect sense. And if you want to compromise your lathering ability, that's on you, not on the product he sells. At least that's the way I look at it. Not everybody may look that way. So, how many times did you fast forward today, Dave? Just curious. I'm talking to you, Dave Card. I know you don't have time for these 20 something minute videos. All right, I'm just messing with you. Got a lot of love for Dave. That man takes time out of his day, like on Facebook Messenger at like two o'clock in the morning his time and gives me technique tips. I mean, how many people just do that for random people that they barely know? Like we chat a few times, I comment on his video, he's watched this. Like I said, awesome freaking community. And honestly, talking to him, 
doing the Kai Triska, like finding your stretch where you need to stretch. Just start running down. See, I'd need to stretch there. Just keep it, you know, stuff like that. Very helpful. It improved my technique. And honestly, guys, I haven't used a straight razor for a few days now. I think, what was it? Wednesday or something last week? Tuesday? I can't even remember. I probably lost whatever I gained doing these shaves. But I'm going back to straight razors tomorrow. Honestly, can't wait. Kind of want to pull out the weck, But I think there's still a hair from that brush. I never saw any come out, but I keep feeling like I have them on there. So, let's start off. Cold Spices Aftershave. That's right. That's pretty heavy, right? So, it burns at first, and then that menthol kicks in, and you don't even realize the burn. It doesn't take it away. It just takes your mind off of it. At least that's what I understand. If anybody thinks that to be differently or knows any better than me, please tell me. Because this information is not my own. Um, I may have misunderstood it, but I picked it up from something, Mantic 59. It was an episode, or I think, you know, it was just him talking with a bunch of slides of menthol and what counter irritant meant and all that kind of stuff but that's where I got that information from yeah that's a nice whoo, that's cold so there is menthol in this as well I'm not a menth head but this star jelly I I do enjoy it because I like a little bit of the burn and a little bit of menthol and it does absorb well into my skin. So, I should have just splashed this on and let y'all laugh when I was like, oh my god! And it like still would have been burning now from the time I put on that other splash. It's gonna take and go behind the ears. Make it smell a little bit more like Schulten. And if anybody that is old spice collectors out there, remind me, I don't think this is Schulten formula. It says Schulten, but it actually smells different than my real Schulten like this. Schulten, Schulten, saying it wrong probably. You know, Southern Hick here in the States. All right, just so you know guys, I told y'all about my day. I think I have two beers left and this was one of them. It's the one I decided to use, what's that say? Citrus wheat ale. I'm not a big fan of wheat ales. I don't know why I picked it up. I did. You can give me some shit, DK. So, all right, guys. Let's recoup. Cold spices. Did I say recoup? That wasn't right. Aftershave. Star jelly. Time for the EDP. I'll just. There we go. Maybe put some of that synthetic menthol down there. All right. Soak the brush and quite a bit of this. The mug, in which I did so. And the funkiest brush I have ever owned. Actually, guys, excuse me one second. This brush, almost equally as stinky. I got this early on. It was supposed to be a Rooney bristle mallard handle, and I've got a matching mug. But this, equally funky, and I used this 30 times and used like Razor Rock Mutterfucker and PAA. It still stinks dry. I mean, dude, shit you not. Anyways, anybody have any tips? Even with my bore knots, you know, lately I've been trying to soak them in cold water for 24 hours in the fridge and then going through the process to like soften them up, but those really stunk. I may replace the knots in those because I don't feel there's any hope. I mean, could be wrong. So until next time, guys, I hope you're doing well. Sorry we're at 25 minutes.